In a world that thrives on social interaction, seeking approval from others has become a prevalent aspect of our lives. We often find ourselves seeking validation, acceptance, and recognition from those around us. While seeking approval can provide a sense of belonging and reassurance, it is important to explore whether it is always a bad thing. This article delves into the complexities of seeking approval from others, examining both its potential drawbacks and positive aspects. By understanding the underlying dynamics and societal influences, as well as finding a healthy balance and embracing personal values, we can navigate the approval-seeking process in a way that fosters autonomy and self-confidence. Ah, seeking approval from others. It's as old as time itself. Okay, maybe not asterisk that asterisk old, but you get the point. We humans have a deep-seated need to be validated and accepted by those around us. Whether it's our parents, our friends, or even random strangers on the internet, we crave that little pat on the back that says, hey, you're doing great. But here's the thing about seeking approval, it can have some downsides. First off, when we become dependent on external validation, we risk losing touch with our own inner compass. We start making decisions based on what will please others, rather than what truly aligns with our values and desires. It's like living life in a never-ending game of guess what they want from me. And let's not forget about the delightful little creature called self-doubt. When we constantly seek approval from others, we start doubting our own abilities and worth. We become trapped in a cycle of questioning whether we're good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough to be accepted by others. It's like having a little gremlin living in your head, constantly whispering, you'll never be good enough, my friend. Now, before we completely write off seeking approval as a villain, let's not forget that it does have its redeeming qualities. Validation, for example, can be a powerful tool for personal growth. When someone acknowledges and recognizes our achievements, it gives us a boost of confidence and motivation to keep striving for greatness. It's like getting a gold star on your homework, but without the math involved. And hey, seeking approval can also help us build those oh-so-important social connections. We're social creatures, after all. We thrive on human interaction and the warm fuzzy feeling of being part of a tribe. Seeking approval from others can help us navigate the treacherous waters of social dynamics and build meaningful relationships. It's like the secret code that unlocks the door to the cool kids club. Ah, cultural and societal influences. They have a way of shaping our every move, don't they? When it comes to seeking approval, these influences are like puppeteers, pulling the strings and making us dance to their tune. Cultural norms, for instance, can dictate what is considered acceptable and worthy of approval in a given society. It's like having a strict rulebook that tells you exactly how to win the approval game. And let's not forget about good old societal pressures. They can really mess with our heads. The constant bombardment of images, messages, and expectations from society can make us feel like we have to meet certain standards in order to be approved of. It's like being trapped in a never-ending game of trying to keep up with the Joneses. So, is seeking approval from others always a bad thing? Well, like most things in life, it's a bit of a mixed bag. While it can provide validation and connection, it can also lead to dependency and self-doubt. The key is to find a healthy balance between seeking approval and staying true to ourselves. So go forth my friend, and seek that approval with a dash of self-awareness and a sprinkle of authenticity. You've got this. We live in a world where seeking approval from others has become the norm. From social media likes to workplace recognition, it's easy to get caught up in the desire for validation. However, it's important to remember that seeking approval shouldn't come at the cost of self-acceptance. Embracing self-acceptance means recognizing and embracing our strengths, weaknesses, and quirks. It's about loving and accepting ourselves for who we are, regardless of others' opinions. When we have a strong foundation of self-acceptance, 
seeking approval becomes less about validation and more about connection and growth. While seeking approval from others can provide a temporary ego boost, it's the validation we give ourselves that truly matters. Self-validation is about recognizing our own worth, accomplishments, and growth. It's about acknowledging the effort we put into our goals and celebrating our own achievements. When we learn to validate ourselves, seeking approval from others becomes less of a desperate need and more of an optional bonus. We become less dependent on external validation, making our self-worth more resilient and less easily swayed by the opinions of others. Self-validation allows us to rely on our own judgment, boosting our confidence and sense of self. Seeking approval from others can become problematic when it conflicts with our personal values. It's essential to align our desire for approval with what truly matters to us. When seeking approval, we should consider if it aligns with our core values and if it contributes to our personal growth and well-being. By seeking approval that is in line with our values, we can ensure that we are not compromising our authenticity or integrity. It helps us maintain a sense of congruence between who we are and the actions we take to gain approval. When our approval-seeking behavior aligns with our values, it becomes a positive force in our lives. At times, the desire for approval can lead us to compromise our personal values. We may find ourselves doing things that don't align with who we truly are, just to gain acceptance from others. It's important to be aware of these situations and recognize when our values are being compromised. When we compromise our values for approval, we undermine our own authenticity and self-worth. It's crucial to take a step back and evaluate if gaining approval is worth sacrificing our values. By staying true to ourselves and our values, we can build genuine connections and attract people who accept and appreciate us for who we truly are. Seeking feedback can be a valuable tool for growth and improvement. However, it's crucial to differentiate between genuine feedback and seeking validation. Genuine feedback focuses on helping us learn and develop, while seeking validation is solely aimed at gaining approval or affirmation. When seeking feedback, it's essential to assess if the input is constructive and aligned with our goals. Constructive feedback challenges us to grow and improve, while validation-seeking feedback merely strokes our ego without providing meaningful insights. By understanding this distinction, we can utilize feedback effectively and avoid getting caught in the approval-seeking trap. Developing discernment when receiving feedback allows us to filter out approval-seeking behavior and focus on the valuable insights. It involves acknowledging our own biases and being open to different perspectives. Not all feedback will be helpful or accurate, so it's important to evaluate its relevance and credibility. By developing discernment, we can identify feedback that genuinely contributes to our growth and discard those motivated by approval-seeking. This allows us to take in constructive criticism without compromising our sense of self-worth. Learning to distinguish between genuine feedback and validation-seeking behavior empowers us to make better decisions and evolve personally and professionally. Seeking approval from others is not inherently bad, but it's crucial to strike a healthy balance. Embracing self-acceptance and self-validation as foundations allows us to maintain a strong sense of self-worth. Aligning our approval-seeking behavior with our personal values helps us stay authentic and true to ourselves. Differentiating between genuine feedback and approval-seeking behavior enables us to make better judgments and utilize feedback effectively. By developing discernment, we protect our self-worth and focus on growth rather than validation. Ultimately, the goal is to embrace autonomy and self-confidence in the approval-seeking process. When we seek approval from a place of self-acceptance, aligned values, and discernment, we can navigate the world seeking connections and growth while staying true to ourselves. So go ahead, seek approval, but remember, the true validation lies within you. In conclusion, seeking approval from others is not inherently good or bad. It is a natural human inclination driven by our desire for connection and validation. While there can be potential drawbacks such as dependency and self-doubt, 
seeking approval also offers the benefits of validation and social connection. By finding a healthy balance, embracing self-acceptance, aligning with personal values, and differentiating between constructive feedback and approval-seeking behavior, we can navigate the approval-seeking process with greater autonomy and self-confidence. Ultimately, it is through self-assurance and a strong sense of self-worth that we can thrive and make meaningful connections, without becoming overly reliant on external validation. FAQ 1. Is seeking approval from others always a bad thing? Seeking approval from others is not inherently bad. It becomes problematic when it becomes a constant need for validation, leading to dependency and self-doubt. However, seeking approval can also provide a sense of validation and social connection, making it a nuanced concept that requires balance and self-awareness. 2. How can I find a healthy balance in seeking approval? Finding a healthy balance in seeking approval involves cultivating self-acceptance and self-validation. It is important to recognize your own worth and value, independent of external validation. Additionally, aligning your actions with your personal values and being mindful of societal influences can help you navigate the approval-seeking process in a way that promotes autonomy and self-confidence. 3. How can I differentiate between constructive feedback and approval-seeking behavior? Differentiating between constructive feedback and approval-seeking behavior requires discernment. Constructive feedback aims to provide genuine guidance and support for personal growth, while approval-seeking behavior is driven by a constant need for validation. It is important to evaluate the intention behind the feedback, assess its relevance to your personal goals, and consider whether it aligns with your own values and aspirations. 4. Can seeking approval from others hinder my personal development? Yes, seeking excessive approval from others can hinder personal development. Relying solely on external validation can lead to a lack of self-trust and inhibit the exploration of one's own abilities and potential. It is crucial to strike a balance between seeking external feedback and cultivating self-belief, allowing for personal growth and the development of one's unique identity.